Hey everybody, this is Hari Swaminathan. It is Wednesday, September 14th and we are looking at our swing trades and what a day it was yesterday. First of all, the all the market analysts got it wrong. The pre-market futures uh, were indicating or at least they were anticipating a, uh, a, a slightly lower uh, inflation number, but it actually came out a little, uh, a little higher. But regardless, this is what happened yesterday. As you can see, it started going down and then, um, it, you know, somewhere over here. So I want to use this trade as an example to uh, manage iron condors. And so I'm going to get into some detail. Obviously, when it's going down, the call vertical is going to be near max profit. So you want to close the call vertical. And at some point, uh, you know, whenever you close the call vertical, you can put in a new call vertical, uh, you know, and, and get some fresh premium. But what about the put vertical? So I, I, I think I was waiting for it to because it was going down quite a bit and I, I figured there'll be some bounce, but there was no bounce. So over here, I closed the put vertical, you know, of course, for a loss. Uh, but and then around here, I opened a new put vertical and I figured, OK, I'll go down to about three thousand nine hundred. So let's uh, you know, let me explain here. So I opened this four zero six zero four zero six five when uh, you know when the uh, when the market was uh, just around over here near the 4000 mark and then it never really bounced back and so uh, i put the i put the put vertical at uh, you know 3900 um, and then it went down so you know uh, uh, today it's moving up because the futures are up about 13 but uh, you know our bear put is going to be doing well and then I wanted to give enough room on the put side. So today you can see. So what ended up happening uh, is uh, uh, we had a net loss of 2100. I think the call vertical had a, a profit of about 1200 and then the put vertical had a, a, a loss of about 3100 or so. And so the net loss was 2100. But now if you see this and today all of these are going to expire. So. Uh, I think if you want to hold on to it and just get some more premium, there's still a little bit of premium here on the put side. I wouldn't take too much of a risk, really, uh, because if you look at the futures today, uh, what's happening is uh, it was higher and it's been moving down uh, steadily. So we don't know how it's going to go uh, right now. This position has about 5,200. And of course, we've booked a loss of uh, well, what is it? 2100 net. It's still a. Uh, $3,200 profit uh, trade and I'm going to close everything and once again we're going to go clean let's see how the price action uh, happens today because yesterday's number jolted the markets and we want to make sure what kind of sentiment is coming in today so I'm going to close everything today and I'm going to book this uh, 3200 uh, approximately so I'm going to put this as plus 3200 and um, you know that will make it a profit of 1100 not a whole lot but you know i think we are lucky to get out of this uh, this uh, kind of a situation uh, with a win so uh, i'm going to close this and uh, let's uh, start fresh tomorrow and see how the uh, price action goes because it's still suspect at, at the moment and we'll take uh, action tomorrow thanks